Right. What's going on guys? NV Astro here, back at it with another video. If you guys don't know by now, this is my partner, Mr. Seth Hendo. And if you guys didn't see our last video on the road to 6S4 and 1 ESC, today we have a new ESC that we will be testing. So tell them about what we plan on testing today. So all of you guys, I'm sure y'all have heard of Race Flight. Race Flight has hit the scene a long time ago. Uh, they've been doing some great things. We wanted to test out what's so great about them. We wanted to see where where is this going. So we decided to get a bolt, and we got a, a revolt, and they stack together. If you don't know, and we put that on a quad, and we want to see if it'll do success like they say it will. Brain Drain said it'll do success. Mm -hmm. Got to put, you know, a couple things on there. We'll get to that. But anyway, that's what we're doing. But yeah, he he lent us the ESC. Well, he lent me an ESC, but it didn't quite work as well. So he had a spare, and we got that one to work. Not 100% there, but it works. Excuses about Mr. Adam 20 over here buzzing us, but hope you could hear us. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this test. But first off, we're gonna start off with a five inch prop. This is capable of doing six inch because this is a six inch Tokyo. So this is the, these are the 5152s. Then we're gonna jump onto the APCs. No? No, six, we're gonna jump to the HQs, tri-blades. Tri-blades, and if it survives that, then, then we'll go jump. ahead and jump onto APCs. the APC. We can get some speed. And we're hoping that this is successful because, like he said, Brain Drain told us that this ESC would actually do 200 amps easily. So we're actually going to be pushing it to its limits. So with that, let's go ahead and get started and test this thing out and see if it's successful. Let's do that thing. All right. So first up is a forest, just to make sure everything is working and show you guys that everything is working. If you guys look at the DVR you're gonna be looking at a little bit of shake but that is because the sensor inside the camera is like moving a little bit i haven't put some double-sided tape but the tune sounds pretty good but let's go ahead and show you guys that it's going to be working on for us it doesn't that sound that great a rock? It doesn't sound that great it doesn't sound bad though, like... Also, I think it's going for the river. Alright, bring it on in and hover it in front of us. Let's see what it looks like, what it sounds like. Alright. Hover, 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 hover. All right, cool, set it down. All right, so, hey, forest is good. Let's check the motors. A little warm, a little warm, not hot, a little warm though. Okay. But uh, that just shows you guys that it's working on 4S. Uh, we have three caps on this thing, and they only included two, but this was having like some twitching issues, so we went ahead and added a third cap. All right, so you so want to go ahead and jump on 6S with the 5 inch prop let's, Yeah, let's jump on 6S right. with the 5 inch prop. All right, so we have a 6S pack on there. Let's go ahead and play this. That's a 1000 Dynagy 6S pack. All right, so far so good. Let's line of sight and check and make sure everything is good. Watch out, it may flip out, I don't know. Things about the thing. Uh oh, oh. Bring it back. You hear that noise? I hear a little bit. Yeah, it's All tuned. Right. So All right, we're going to we're going to FPV it. Let's do it. All right. Don't go too far. Don't do too much because we, we want to. Don't want the motors to be too hot. Okay. Just bring it on in. All right. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna fly like your four cell. Yeah. Well, no, Just it was like at 20% like throttle, so yeah. it flew like a four cell kind of. But I was at like 4% throttle. So should I open it up with the five inch or no? Nope. Let's go ahead, go ahead and jump to the six inch and right. let's get it. Let's go ahead and swap the props out and then we'll hit you guys back up. All right. So we have some 60, 45 HQ props on there. Let's go ahead and play this bad boy in. With success. With success, there we go. 
and see what happens. We're actually gonna pull, pull throttle on this. Yeah, we're gonna go for it on this one. All right. And hover it for us a little bit. Turn on that DVR. Seems to be pretty good. Yeah, it seems better. All right, land it. All right, I'm about to punch out right here. You ready? Yeah. So far, so good. No. Better is like giving. All right, come on, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. There we go. All right, all right. Damn. Oh, bro. Come on. We were done with the HQ anyway, but that was a good flight. How's the battery feel? Wait. I see an issue. See an issue? What's an issue? Uh, some, some build quality right here. Some build quality. We have a desoldering job going off. Oh no, that was getting hot. Let's it touch these motors. Oh, oh ow! Was that hot? That wasn't hot, come on. It's hot. They're getting hot, yeah, hotter as hot. we speak. Being melodramatic. Oh, oh, no, 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 you can't hold on to it. Oh yeah? I think so the battery was running out. We don't have another success? No. It's about past 120. We can't hold on to it. It's only a 1,000. Come on, man. You can't smell anything, though. That no. One's hot if you can't smell enamel, it's fine. No, the motors are fine. I'm not worried about that. That Can solder is coming off. It wasn't really as fast do. as I thought it would be. Where though. is it melting? I don't know. It looks it's like from just... right, right there. Or the three wires. Right oh, dude. You well, sure that happened just now? It wasn't you building it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't build it. This is Who built this? This is sad. Who built this POS? You know what? I got this camera on, but it will hit that nose of yours real quick, man. That Watch terrible. That's That'd a terrible, terrible bit right there. That's some amateur kind Ooh, of shit right that's here. That's pretty bad. I don't so what do you want to do? I, I think we need to continue. What do you mean what I want to do? Well, let's charge, charge this battery success. and keep going. I'm going to charge the 6S back up. And then we're going to put this sucker back on and we're going to put the APCs on this sucker. Oh, put electrical tape that. around the right. ports. I don't give a damn what we do. Us. I don't care if it catches fire. I got some right bondic. now, I want to see it go fast. You want a bondic? Okay. So we're back. We are back after intermissions. Anyways, we are with 6 inch APC props. Charge success battery. Let's go ahead and plug it in. It is. Oh, it is. Oh. Cover it for a little bit and see what, what's up. Total warning. Don't get close to me. I don't trust race flight like that. All right. We good? Let's do it. Let's do that thing. All right, guys, so we don't know what to expect, but hey, here we go. Oh. That's some shaking. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> that thing moved. Did it? Didn't seem that fast. It moved. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, that moves. Do another punch. No, it moved. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if you guys saw that, but <laughs> I got it on DVR, but holy crap. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, I smell fire somewhere. Okay, I don't know what blew up. Not a battery. Battery's fine. Frame is fine. I don't know what just happened. Um, oh, it smells like something burned up in the inside. Okay, so I'm not sure what burnt up, but something smells burnt up. We're actually gonna open it up and show you guys what burnt up or whatever happened. All right, man, so now for our conclusion on the four in one boat from Race Flight. So go ahead and spit your thoughts on this. This is, this is ridiculous, okay? This is way too much work. Too much time spent, too much effort in getting this thing to work, flying the air. And another thing that we didn't even really talk about 
was the fact that we couldn't change the tune. Oh, yes. We would change the numbers, go to save it, and it would not save. It would not do it. It wouldn't work. I'll show you guys a, a, a quick clip on this, uh, what we're talking about when it wouldn't save the pigs. Okay, so check this out. This is supposedly stock. Everything is 30 out. And then we go to so default. We'll push default. And then this changes is what it, it switches right? to. And then it's save it. See? Okay, so it's saving. So now disconnect and then connect it back. And then they go back, all go back to 30. It's like, it's not even saving the PIDs. It would be funny if they're actually switched on for the video now. But check this out. There you go. They're all at 30. They're all back to where they were. Didn't save whatsoever. Now there's a new video that says that you should take the bolt and flip it upside down. Then take your flight controller, flip it upside down, and wire it instead of using the push-in pins to actually mount it. For low uh, noise or something below, like that. The low noise setup. You know what, man? It, that, again, way too much effort to have to get this thing to work. Now today we, we found that um, when you're drawing a whole lot of amps, it seemed to have worked. Yeah. It seemed to be our solder joint from the ESC to the motors that were failing. But then I looked closer and on the bottom we saw where a FET um, looked like it just got maybe too hot and, and maybe gave way. Or maybe it's just the wire that was above it because it, it was one of these yeah. contacts here that uh, failed and maybe that had something to do with it. But nevertheless, after all of that, this is what we're left with, quad that's not flying. That's the part that I find unacceptable. I tried to do my best to get this damn thing in the air, stayed up to five o'clock last night. We were messing with his yeah. setup also, trying to get two quads in right the air, so we and had it this just one? didn't work out. Yeah, we had this one right here. This one was lent to my, uh, this one was lent to me by Mr. Brain Drain. He gave me this to test out. Uh, it wasn't working, didn't work for me. And also, another thing that went out on me last night was the Revo. After like messing with it, flashing it and all that, and then just out, out of uh, out of nowhere, just didn't want to get power anymore. I was plugging it into the computer, just didn't want to um, power on or anything. And the thing with his quad, why he's so frustrated, was because he has spent about, what, like two plus months on that thing? Yeah, yeah So he spent enough. a lot of time, a lot of time trying to add uh, caps, uh, tuning it, filtering it, but it was all shaky. So today was the best flight time that he got out of this thing, yeah, but it fell. Which is only about 45 seconds. <laughs> on 6S. So, on 6S, which is what I wanted it for in the first place. So, so you know, I'm very disappointed. It's not working. It's still not, it's, you know, with the fat gone, it's not going to work again. Yeah. Uh, this whole setup was, what, 110 bucks? Yeah, uh, plus, kind of plus the time waiting on it because you know they build up the hype and you you pre-order and then it takes a freaking ever to get to you yeah. and you know you you do all this and and then you you are let down in essence because it it just didn't work out. Hey, you know? we're not the only ones having issues with this. I know I had a couple people come up to me at uh, races and they had like four revolts just didn't work. Uh, I know I had a, a guy personally message me on the boat ESC and he had three of those burnouts. So I think there's like a constant issue with the race flight. I'm not, I don't fly race flight, so I don't know. This was just kind of the test that um, I wanted to do on the boat since it was given to me for it to test. But it just kind of shows that I see why people this don't is, run it. And the this is one having. of those things where um, I, I bought it really, you know, I wanted a ESC that could do 6S, but one of the, another really, really, I thought was a good reason to purchase it was to support the local guys, support the guys that race with us and all of that. This is a real reason why I purchased this board in the first place. Uh, again, not saying that it was the ESC's fault. It could have been just my fault not exactly. using a stronger solder. But point of the matter is, I'm not flying it. I wanted to fly it, I wanted to enjoy it. Um, I did everything I could to get there and it's not flying. You know, there's guys out there that have a wonderful time with this. Yeah, they do. That's great, you know what, I'm glad for you. But I didn't. If it can't work for the majority of the, the group of people that are trying to uh, use it, then what good is it, really? You know what I'm saying? So. But hey, that's just our that's experience it. with us. That's our experience. No, yeah. no hate towards race flight, because I know they have some good and products. Guys, hey, it did better than the they're, sure. they're gonna, they're gonna do great, man. They're gonna grow. They're gonna continue to grow. They're gonna work these kinks out. Everything's gonna be fine. But right now, it's not there. Yeah, it's not. And there. no one has said that. You know, no one has really put that out there and said, hey, you know what? 
I don't fly because it's not there. So, but that's okay, you know? It's okay. Maybe preference. in the future they'll it's get all preference. it. So, with that, guys, maybe in the future we'll come up to the foreign one that could actually handle success. Because so far we have not found it. This was actually doing pretty good, though. It was. Until yeah. that last turn where it just flipped out and the FET burnt out. But at yeah. least it didn't do as bad as the DYS where all the FETs yeah. burnt out. Well, another popular ESC that was suggested to us was the Quadrant, the new 35 amp, and the Cicada 30 amp. So, hey, maybe if those companies send it to us, because I don't know if I want to spend my money on a product that doesn't work like that. Dude. If they if they'll send it to us and and I'll test and, it. and, and allow to us test to test it. it, we need two of each. Yep, one for um, me, one for him. It, that way we can, you know, it's both people building, and you get multiple different angles on what it will or won't do. Uh, we build similar, but it ain't that similar. So. Yeah, I mean, if we could get two, that'd be great. I'll test it out and, and give it a fair shake. But if it don't work, I'm going to tell you it don't work. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So. Exactly. So with that, guys, peace out, and we catch you on the next one.